Hi there. Now, for this question, we're told that the circle C has a radius of 5 and touches the y-axis at the point 0,9. And for the first part, we've got to write down an equation for the circle C that is shown for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the equation of a circle. If not, just very briefly, it is x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals r squared, where x1, y1 are the coordinates of the centre of the circle and r is the radius. So for this circle, its centre here okay, will be minus 5 across and 9 up because the radius is 5 units. So if I say let the centre be the point A then the coordinates of the centre will be minus 5, 9. So when it comes to the equation of the circle for part A it's going to be x minus x1 being minus 5 so it's going to be x minus minus 5 so it's going to be x plus 5 all squared, then it's going to be plus y minus y1, y1 is 9, so it's y minus 9, all squared, equals the radius squared. Well, the radius is 5 units, and so 5 squared is 25. OK, so that's that part then. Now for part B, it tells us that a line through the point P with coordinates 8 minus 7 is a tangent to the circle C at the point T and we've got to find the length of PT for three marks. So again if you'd like to have a go at this I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay well welcome back then if you had a go. So for this one, let's just add to our sketch the point P with coordinates 8, minus 7. So 8 across, 7 down, let's just say it's round about here. Okay? This is the point P then with coordinates 8, minus 7. And we've got a tangent from P then to the circle. So in theory there's going to be two tangents. There's going to be one from here up to point here say and there'll be one from here over to a point here. I'm going to just concentrate on this one although you could clearly work off the other one it doesn't make any difference. So what we've got to do then is this point here is the point T where it touches the circle we've got to find out this length. Now in order to find the length PT we need to think of constructing a right angle triangle because the tangent makes a right angle with the radius. So if we come down back to P like so, we've got a right angle then in here. We know the distance from the center to T, it's five units. All we need to do is work out the distance from the point A to the point P. And we can do this quite easily just by considering Pythagoras' theorem on a right angle triangle drawn like so. Okay, So this distance across here is the difference in the x coordinates. That's going to be 8 minus minus 5. In other words, 13 units. And this distance down here is going to be the difference in the y coordinates, 9 minus minus 7, which is going to be 16. And that will allow us to work out the hypotenuse for this triangle, the distance AP. Or you could just simply do it like this, as being that PA all squared is equal to the difference then in the x coordinates, which is 8 minus minus 5 all squared, which gives us this side squared, plus this side all squared, that's going to be 9 minus minus 7 all squared, giving us 16 all squared. And then if you work this out, 
you've got 13 squared plus 16 squared and this comes to 425. So now all we need to do is get PT. We can work off this triangle here, PAT, okay? And we've got that therefore PT squared, it's a shorter side squared, is equal to the hypotenuse squared, PA squared, minus AT all squared. Okay, so what we've got here, PA squared is going to be 425. And then minus the radius squared, which is 5 squared. And that comes to 425 minus 25, 400. So to get PT, all we need to do is say that therefore PT equals the square root of 400. We need the positive value of this because it's the length and that is exactly 20. 20 units then. Okay, just put 20 units for the length.